You don't want me to go? Oh, there's actually some people here. Some bad luck happened. Mina san kunnichiwa, tacos desu. Konkai wa omiya koen ni ikimasu. Jitsu wa kore wa take two desu. So this is the second time I'm recording this video because I initially was gonna go here last week, but some bad luck happened. My tire went flat, so kuki nakata. <laughs> Oh no, my tire would just went flat. And because of that, I had to reschedule going to the park for the following week. And actually, Chodo E timing because we are going on Friday the 13th. So, if you guys know, Friday the 13th, bad luck day or day. So, Chodo, Chodo E tomo. So, but aside from that, so the reason why we're going to Omiya Koen is because it's actually not so much of a famous Shinde spot, but it's still considered a Shinde spot. And the reason for that is because people say that you can, the voices of men women and children at the park and also about 30 years ago a tv show that does uh shinde stuff they went there and they caught a face on a sakura tree so that's another reason why and uh, a long time ago people would jump into the lake that's in omiya park ah kikohito mada ne? it's almost 2 a.m and there's still people out Someone's coming. But I would also like to take the time to thank you guys for over 100 subscribers in such a short period of time for this channel. I really appreciate you guys' support. I, I would never imagine me going to a Shinde spot, wearing a jacket, riding a bike. <laughs> I feel like I would just be too hot for that. But yokata, thank you. I'm very happy. Takuo-san is happy. Big truck. Ah, come back. Come back, big truck. Omi a truck. Come back. Back. Too far. Oh, it's, it's that tree smell. That, that tree, that good tree smell. Mm, that's actually one of my favorite things about Japan autumn. Is that, that tree that has that very nice kauri. Chou kauri. So nice. Do -do 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 -do. Going through the night. Going through the night to the Shinde spot. Going through the night to the Shinde spot. I think earlier was the entrance to the park, but I don't know if I could go in there by bike. My Nabi is going crazy. <laughs> like, turn, turn, turn. I know Nabi, I know. Oh, there's actually some people here. What the fuck? Hey, Kikomoku Shinde. Hi, we have made it to Omiya Koen and I did not expect the uh, park to be this bright. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think I need this light anymore. I can just turn this light off. It's so bright. Wow, it's crazy. Oh, there's ducks. We found some ducks. Some ducks. What is it called in Japanese? Ahiru. Ahiru chan iru. So far, Zenzen, Flinky, Nai. There's nothing. Tarekaimasuka. Tacos desu. Anashi ga kete kudasai. I feel like the. 
I feel like the ducks are responding to me. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go sit at a bench and then do a little bit of a spirit box session. Actually, I do wonder if anything's gonna talk to me though. So right now sitting at the bench. You do do or guys can't see, but benches. Benches right here. Right here. So let's try uh, a spirit box session. Please talk to me if you're here. Kuchwa. Naka Dajo Mita. Nakorana. Teraka Itra, Nandema da Kokoni Imas. I think I heard Coco this. I feel like there's a combination of radio and maybe some voices. I heard like a coco this earlier, so I think that's the first time I actually heard something. I just figured it out because I'm asked. Thank you for talking to me. So, yeah. Ma. Thank you for talking to me. Bye bye. So, that was the spirit box session. I actually caught some voices. I was not expecting. Honestly, I wasn't expecting any voices, but I think I heard a lot of radio this time. And I think this is actually the first time I heard radio in uh, seen this spot location actually this is the first time i heard something that was very clear too but let's go check around the park uh, now that we've explored this part i kind of want to take a look because i don't i believe that seeing this stuff is not only limited to this part like the the lake maybe but I mean, whenever I go to Shinda spots, I really don't feel anxious because I'm always excited about what I'm gonna catch. And actually, uh, I'm very happy with what we caught on the spirit box. I think we caught like a mix of radio and uh, voices. So that was really cool. Actually, I kind of want to check out the toilet. See if there's anybody in there. And by by anybody, I, I mean like Yure, Hito Janai. I'm actually very worried because it is a public toilet, and so I'm wondering if there's people gonna be inside. Nanka <laughs> Tashibukana. Old-style toilets. Just looks like a run-down toilet. People leaving their trash here. Hmm. We can try a little spare box session. Let's give it a go. If this one's close to the pond, so maybe there's something. Get a mask. Better my life. Hmm? Huh? Can you take it aside? Hmm. No, I don't want to keep it. It's something. Can you take it? Huh? Mother, you can make her. You don't want me to go? I'm talking to them in English. <laughs> ah, so sorry, I'm going to go. Thank you so much. Oh, that, that was interesting. I heard some stuff. 
But actually the interesting thing is, is that this time I didn't uh, pull out the antenna from my radio. So here's the uh, spare box. And then the little tip right here, you can pull out. So let me just show you guys really quick. So that, that little rod, the radio, the antenna, I guess it's called antenna, <laughs> called it a rod. But this one, um, I never pull it out. But when I was near the lake, I pulled it out and I could hear the radio. And in the other videos where I caught the voices, I didn't pull this one out. I just left it like this and I could catch voices without any radio interference. I don't know if that works, but from my experience, I tried that. So maybe uh, that could be a factor. I don't know. Kind of. Maybe we can walk around the other side, can I? It's actually a little difficult to take this place a little serious as a shooting spot because because <laughs> not think you It's just it just feels like a normal park. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> but usually, whenever I come to these places, I can hear stuff after. Uh, after I'm editing, then I can hear stuff more clearly. But as of right now, I cannot hear anything. So, I mean, son, that was Omiya Cohen. And I was not expecting the park to be that bright. <laughs> I mentioned it already, but I actually went to Omiyakoen before, but during the daytime. And it didn't look like it would be that bright. I didn't see that many lights like around. And there wasn't really much of an atmosphere, like a freaky nakata. And also, there were quite a few people there too. There were some homeless people and some other people just chilling there. So. It kind of uh, ruined the scary factor of the place, but still, I felt like it was a nice place. And I was actually pleasantly surprised as well that we caught some voices on the spare box. There was a mix of radio and voices, so that was really cool. I can't wait to see what kind of stuff we caught. And I think the only one thing I heard was Coco Des, so maybe someone was replying to me. But still, very nice to visit at night. I feel Yeah, let's change in atmosphere from going from the park to this kind of atmosphere. It's <laughs> good, eh? Look at that. Manga cafe. Manga kisa ten. Ita koto nai. Actually, wait, no, wait. No, ita koto aru. I went once to Nagoya. I spent the night there. This is a really good experience. I can't believe I forgot about it. But also guys, please let me know if you have any recommendations for any Shinjir spot areas around Saitama, Tokyo, Chiba, and Kanagawa prefectures. Because those are the only places that I can go to at the moment. <laughs> Every other place. Takamo. So please subscribe to the channel if you're interested in that.